Welcome to another episode of Career Australia. Today we have got uh, Vinesh with us again. Vinesh been with us in uh, a previous episode sharing his journey of uh, migrant journey uh, from since 2018 and he been uh, you know uh, initiated the network works and also meetups. So welcome back Vinesh to another episode of Career Australia. Thanks a lot. Pleasure to be here. Yes. Excited to share more stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. why not? <laughs> you know, it's, it's not only about uh, we learning, but yeah. it's also about we sharing. Yes, you know? definitely. So learning and sharing is part of our nature. Yeah. And I think when particularly when we uh, when we are looking at the migrant community, that's uh, you know that sharing is a key thing which actually enables many other migrants to to have that you know start that journey. Uh, with facing those challenges very bravely and courageously. Definitely. Don't reinvent the wheel. Simple. No, exactly, Simple. exactly. <laughs> yeah, you make you made it a bit shorter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, I think what we would like to talk uh, today about is the networking. As you know, you know, we don't have to actually tell anyone what is networking because everyone knows networking. But the question is why? You yeah. know, why it is important? Uh, and you know, like when we talk about it. Uh, I've also done a lot of networking when I came here because I I didn't knew the power of it yeah. to be honest but when I did it I yeah then I realized it is very powerful yeah. Yeah. so uh, what do you think why you think it is important see uh, the best way to explain it I mean a recruiter from Hayes explained this to me in a beautiful way mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll try to replicate that explanation yep. so when this recruiter gets a job and uh, puts an ad on Seek or LinkedIn, for example, mm -hmm. he'll get almost 200 applications in a day. Yep. Um, it's humanly not possible to go through each and every application, yeah, right? That's a lot. So he does does a few filters mm -hmm. and shortlists it to 50. Yep. So 150 is already gone without even looking at the resume, mm -hmm. right? But before he approaches this 50, he'll have another list of 20 who he has met in a meetup or who he has been referred to or something like that. Yep. So he'll always pick the phone and call the 21st, then come into the 50 and then go to the one, one rest of 150. So if you're just sitting at home and applying, you're always in the 200 bunch and luck plays a big role there. And luck mostly doesn't favor you, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. Right. So it's your perfect. objective should be in the 20. Mm. How do you get there? networking is only the only way to get into that 20 and that's one that's one important aspect of networking okay. second thing uh, i think we touched this in the previous episode is how you build yourself right if you just sit at home and don't talk to anyone you don't get confident or you don't know how to talk or you don't know what they what others are expecting out of you mm -hmm. right it it's a big stress reliever especially with the frustrations of job seeking. Yep. It's a huge stress reliever and it's important that you distract yourself with something and networking is the best way to do it. Yep. I 100% agree. Yeah. I think this is actually a platform where, you know, when, when you go to any of the networking platforms, that's where you, you know, do a, a lot of meet and greet and you don't expect, you know, as you right, listen, you, know, you don't have to have a lot of expectations, but that adds a lot of confidence. Yeah. You now, because you, when you're sitting at home, you are not in the market, yeah. you know. So this is like getting into that 20. But trust me, it's not easy. Yep. Uh, you know, probably we are not wired or designed to, you know, how to go and talk to strangers. Yeah. We have probably said, don't talk to strangers. Don't do that. Don't do this. Right? We always have a lot of don'ts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is particularly hard, mm. but you have to try and you have to start somewhere. I personally, even now, when I go for meetups, I usually tend to go in a corner, sit in a corner and play on my phone. That's not what you should do, That's but right. it's it's really hard to strike a conversation with a stranger mm -hmm. or uh, especially if there is already a group there, mm -hmm. breaking into that group and introducing yourself, that's the hardest. Yeah, yeah. So what I do is, you know, to avoid that situation, I usually go 30 minutes early for any event. That's good. So there's no one there, probably me and the organizers and it's easy to catch a conversation with yeah. uh, organizers and anyone who comes new I am the authority I am the person who knows Already things yeah. so they'll come and greet me I don't have to go and jump in yeah. right so that's one trick you know has been really yeah. effective which is a good idea yeah. because many times you don't uh, have this thinking of go early in a meeting <laughs> but I think that that's a good uh, yeah. way of uh, you know uh, putting yourself right. into that you know like putting into that shoes where yeah. you can actually 
uh, talk to the organizers first yeah. so you have a good idea exactly. and then, you know but i think that's a good idea i think yeah. many many people will find that useful yeah. because go early into a meeting mm-hmm. love children. I even volunteer to babysit my neighbor's kids. Enrolling for the certification 3 in early childhood education and care at IHNA gave my passion wings. I learned a lot. How to handle situations, how to create an environment that is best for child's emotional and intellectual development. I love the whole idea of flexibility of the course and it only takes a year to complete the course. It was really exciting to achieve exactly what I wanted from the comfort of my home. we were always supervised with an experienced instructor at the same time getting hands on experience through the placement which gave me a crucial insight for the future it also helped me to handle real work situations enter a world of opportunities by obtaining certification 3 in early childhood education i h n a creating compassionate professionals This is where dedicated people become excellent nurses. Where small classes and online courses make learning more personal. Where every teacher takes responsibility for the success of every student. This is an educational experience unlike any other. This is IHNA, the premier nursing institute. IHNA creating compassionate professionals So now I think one of those other things uh, comes to my mind when we talk about networking is there are different ways of networking right so because there's a huge number of platforms now so previously when we mentioned or talk about networking it was primarily about face to face you know now it's more about what you do online and then what you do you know face to face or offline however so uh, what what is your thoughts on uh, you know what platforms how how th- that works see technology is great if you use it right mm-hmm. uh, linkedin has spoiled people yep. because you think it's easy and you just it just works yep. right mm. you think linkedin is there you connect to people you send them a message hey can you refer me to this role can you connect yep. to me to this person yep but the people that i talk to everyone says it doesn't work but why doesn't it work because you're not putting effort into it you're just being a machine and trying to connect to people and the people who are on the other side are not machines they are humans right so linkedin is very ineffective to network if you do it like that okay right mm-hmm. but if you use it the right way it's very powerful yeah. it's very powerful but trust me 99% of the job seekers don't do it the right way. Mm-hmm. so that's about online uh, networking mm-hmm. even if you network online your ultimate objective should be to make a meeting in person yep bring it to the real world yeah if you just rely on this world nothing is going to happen yeah. you have to put a face to the name you have to have a conversation with that person only then there will be a lasting impression mm-hmm. or only then there will be an action out of it yeah otherwise it's just online yeah stuff just happens online yeah. nothing nothing yeah. nothing yeah. ever yeah. Uh, it's kicks always off. promises but yeah. uh, which which may not actually work out as promised exactly yeah, yeah. yeah i think i agree with that i think the one of that point you made about you know rather than um like um in terms of 
when you meet someone online and you know you may have a number of chats but even um, either because you got this objective on your back of your mind that you know you are looking for a job uh, it's hard to control that feeling yeah. and you know not to jump the gun and say that you know it's finally after two days of uh, how are you how are you doing <laughs> asking this question yeah. of you know do you have any job yeah. so i am looking for a job yeah. but rather than changing that keeping that aside and then you do that uh, you know initiative of uh, is there any networking you go you know uh, we would it will be good to catch up in person that actually takes it completely into a different level right. because you know the other person actually feel respected mm. the other person feel you know that you giving a good uh, no actually it's more of meeting in person where actually then maybe there is an opportunity where you can actually you know talk about opportunities or whatever that gives a totally different uh, perspective so i think that's a good idea mm. i think when we wanted to talk about more of that i think you know uh, it it also comes to my mind about and how, what should be your objective when you do networking see um, this is another i mean i love stories so this is uh, i don't remember who shared the story but yeah. see for example if you plan to buy a car uh, so i bought a honda accord last year yeah so till you buy it you won't see any honda accords on the road that's correct <laughs> but once you buy it every <laughs> car you look will be honda accord yeah. right yeah. so that's the same with job search as well yeah. if you go looking for a job you won't find anything Yeah, as soon as you find one you will see you know there's a lot of opportunities where did <laughs> yeah. these all these go yeah. so same is applicable while looking for a job as well so if you go, networking is not a quick fix yep. it's not like you go for a meet up and you get an offer or you even get an interview or nothing nothing mm-hmm. happens it's a slow process um but people ask me then why you do networking right so i weigh in the uh, energy you spend applying online versus networking mm-hmm. applying online like i mentioned in the last episode mm-hmm. is a lottery system mm-hmm. you either win or lose so you do 100 applications you fall 100 applications that's it but networking will always pay you dividends you build it slowly 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 it might not give any job but yep. it the the stuff that you have gained over there will be with you forever mm-hmm. right so always make sure you uh, spend your energy uh, in a right, right way. way yeah, yeah. So never ask for a job that's one important rule you have to follow mm-hmm. go for a networking event being curious mm. to learn more to understand what the market is yeah. to understand how people talk basically and how you can strike a conversation yeah. that's it right yeah. and if people like you it will come back to you yeah. simple yeah, right so absolutely. don't go there looking for a job yeah and i think one more thing i will add with that is also you know op- be open up you know because uh, So many times you know you if you go with that one single agenda then you limiting yourself but you, if you open up yourself okay you know let's open up to possibilities where you actually have that intention that yes i will have genuine conversation you know i wanted to meet people genuinely and i wanted to t- tell you know what i've got and i wanted to listen from others what you know what they have got that actually build relationship and yeah, absolutely i agree it may not uh, end up in a job the next day but that is going to you know help you somewhere some on the line you know and even if it not help you tomorrow or even in in the next two years that relationship is still strong yeah. you know you you would know you know when people share stories of networking like i i've got a story where you know i've seen someone when i worked in a restaurant and ended up when i searched the name in facebook she was the one i actually sent an application you know <laughs> three awesome. months back awesome. you know so and i i i immediately know. i sent her because i i looked in my email and i sent her an email chris you know do you remember me i was the one talking to you about that particular <laughs> job and it was like you know what a small work yeah. you know and we became good friends yeah. you know she is an hr consultant and you know uh, one of the reason why i got the job where i am at the moment is because uh, she yeah she actually uh, when after i you know do uh, did this uh, introduction she actually referred me for that awesome. uh, to that um, chief operating officer awesome. so i did not do anything <laughs> intentionally to get a job that's my point yeah. but you know it actually it, it works out yeah. yeah so another thing another problem of when you go to an event with an objective is mm-hmm. you be picky on who you talk to mm-hmm. you know can this guy help me then i'll go and talk to him yes. otherwise you won't talk to him so yeah. uh, this sometimes happens in my network walks you know sometimes a recruiter comes for these walks mm. 
but no one knows that person is a recruiter uh, because once they people know he, that person is a recruiter everyone will yeah, yeah, go, yeah. go around him so uh, when he leaves early at the end i usually ask you know who knows that person was a recruiter I'm like oh my god i should have talked to that person <laughs> right yeah. so don't restrict with if you have a close mindset uh, that will restrict you uh, yes. with a lot of opportunities right. and another point important point that i wanted to touch is again this is coming to the power of networking by the way mm. in australia 70 to 80% of jobs are not advertised that's a big number and by that what it means is the ads that you're seeing on seek and linkedin it's just 20 to 30% so that's what you are applying to you are missing out on 70 to 80% of the jobs so how do you find it there's only way to do it it's networking and building and knowing people knowing where these jobs are knowing who mm. uh, puts these jobs out and yep. uh, you know that's very important yeah so This is where dedicated people become excellent nurses. Where small classes and online courses make learning more personal. Where every teacher takes responsibility for the success of every student. This is an educational experience unlike any other. This is IHNA, the premier nursing institute. IHNA, creating compassionate professionals. I've always loved children. I even volunteered to babysit my neighbor's kids. Enrolling for the Certification 3 in Early Childhood Education and Care at IHNA gave my passion wings. I learned a lot. How to handle situations, how to create an environment that is best for child's emotional and intellectual development. I love the whole idea of flexibility of the course and it only takes a year to complete the course. It was really exciting to achieve exactly what I wanted from the comfort of my home. We were always supervised with an experienced instructor. At the same time getting hands-on experience through the placement which gave me a crucial insight for the future. It also helped me to handle real work situations. Enter a world of opportunities by obtaining certification 3 in early childhood education. IHNA, creating compassionate professionals. It's always there's a say that you know there's a lot of opportunities which are not which are not advertised because Australia is, is not a huge country in terms of population. <laughs> so you know someone always knows someone. Yes. You know, so networking is very powerful yeah. and a very useful thing in Australia. So what, in your experience of you know doing a lot of networking events, uh, what do you advise as a for new migrants? How how can they start networking? So for a start, go early. Oh. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> tip. <laughs> yeah, that that kind of relaxes you and makes you feel what what you have to do, right? Yeah. And second point, we already touched on it. Do not ask for a job. Be mm. curious. Ask what the other person do, does. Yeah. You know, you yeah. might think, okay, this person is intimidating. I shouldn't even talk to him. But just go and have a chat with him. He might be very nice, and mm. he might be as scared as you are. Yeah. You never know. But having that chat yeah. opens you up. And you feel great at the end of it. Mm. That's the probably the best feeling that you can get, you yeah. know. So it's very important that you go with the right mindset and mm. you know you open up to people, talk to people, and after this event, connect to them on LinkedIn. Very important. 
and try to get them over a coffee. Mm. So it doesn't end with an event, right? That's, that, right. that's just an opening. You've yeah. got the key to the car. Key to the car. Yeah. Maybe Now you have start. to drive. Yeah. Right? So make sure that you get a coffee with that person yep. and you have a more in-depth discussion. Again, no job on table. Just have a discussion to see, you know, what's mm-hmm. happening in the market, what technologies are in demand, for example, mm-hmm. or you know, how can I upskill to make a better chance, yep. you know, just just to learn how yep. things are. Mm-hmm. And in the end, you never know that person might have a role in his team. Mm-hmm. And then, hey, why don't you come and chat with us? Yep. You never know, no guarantees, yeah. but it might happen. Yeah, and there are opportunities where you know it also comes like uh, there may be there may not be a a, a full time permanent job. but there may be a casual vacancy but it's a great way to step into the yeah. into an into an opportunity where you know that may end up in a job a career if not you actually get a good reference you know so it still works uh, in the initial stage because at the end of the you're still looking at the same career and i hear so many stories where these short term contracts are converted into long a the long term contracts are mm. permanent roles mm. so getting that foot in and building your network mm. very important yeah so we we also do a lot of networking events uh, you know we we have a platform in the northern territory in that mm-hmm. called ignite potential where yeah. we bring people together and it's always good what the 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 best thing i think i have seen when when we have this events are at the end of the people are very happy you know <laughs> so they actually because there's not uh, many times you get this opportunity to particularly when in the initial phase if you are in australia you don't have many uh, places where you can actually share and then others are in also in the same uh, you know in the same situation mm-hmm. so you actually get a lot of support each other yeah, also sure, sure. and we we even do like as soon as we have a group we create a whatsapp group things like that just to keep that belongingness mm-hmm. and then you know when people have got questions we plug got issues then actually or even opportunities they actually post it in the group which is actually helpful for others mm-hmm. so we what we do is we build that supporting mechanism in the beginning so that you know they it's not they they get to feel that they are not alone mm. you know there are there are people who are actually looking for your benefit or looking for you to support you and that i think that adds a lot of value for many people yeah so just uh, i i know that you also spoke about uh, you know your network works and meetups in the uh, in the past so do you have anything in particular to talk about you know how that initiative helped someone uh, in real time so people can actually experience how powerful is networking so i'll share you a fresh story yes. this just happened yesterday okay so uh, this uh, lady uh, came to my meetup two months back mm-hmm. and what i do in my meetup is i give an opportunity to everyone to share their story so i'll pick them you know they can come uh, to the front and they can speak to the crowd mm-hmm. and sharing their story so i will say you know probably you should do this you should do this the recruiters will also say you know probably you're doing this and usually that's the same struggle that everyone goes through mm-hmm. but little did i know what confidence upbringing or, or what confidence it was making for that person who got a chance to talk to the public mm. right so this lady uh, i think with, within a week she got a chance to attend some sort of workshop or a, a, or a session where they were looking for talent mm. and she was asked to present on some topic okay she did it she had the conference from this event she did it and she's starting next monday in that company wow so you know small things like this you yeah. never know what will happen in a networking yeah. event yeah. and uh, that 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 many such stories which you think might not be very relevant mm. but things just happen in these networking mm. events uh, last week in my walk uh, not last week couple of weeks back so a person shared that there is a op- internship opportunity in a particular company mm-hmm. and that lady started as an intern over there next week again next week so okay small things here and there happen and you but it doesn't mean say you know these are the good stories yeah yeah you yeah. never know what's happening in the background yeah. it doesn't mean that you go for a networking event and it Everything won't happen just like no. that <laughs> it's a hit or miss but stuff like these do happen yeah but i think those both those stories are really great yeah uh, and it also shows you know uh, when people use those opportunities and they get into a career or even an opportunity that actually uh, not only you know helps them out but it actually helps others too because they get that feel of 
you know inspiration a bit of motivation that yes it works yeah. for someone yeah. so it actually give others the confidence that yes it is powerful and you know invest more time into networking for you know for some you know because we can't say that everyone has got the t- same time so yeah. you know it's different for people because people are different but when we respect that you know we are different you know our time zones are different but when we see such opportunities arise and then you know people are getting that actually put a bit of inspiration to everyone in the room one thing i like is when someone shares a bad story as in you know i'm been job searching for a year nothing is working out others kind of feel you know hey my situation is not too bad even though it's it's not a good feeling yes. but you still get that feeling over there yes. right so it, it helps every bit helps yes no? absolutely <laughs> and it is like i agree you know sometimes it's also good to share the bad stories as well Very because important. then what happens is many others who will have, because you know when when you have got a group of people in a room it's actually a room of ideas yeah. you know it's not really a room of people so when you got a number of people and when someone shares a bad story and you know ask others what you would have done mm. or what are your suggestions you would it's immediately you will see a number of you know ideas and suggestions coming along which can actually change completely the person you know spoke about the bad story so mm-hmm. sometimes it actually does the other, other way <laughs> yeah true that yeah, yeah. yeah thank you so much uh, for that uh, detailed information about networking and i think you know our audience will definitely know it is a powerful tool and in australia anyone who comes to australia they actually should start uh, you know looking at what networking events in australia and i also wanted to suggest even bright is a wonderful app which you can use and when you look at even even bright it actually brings a lot of uh, events happening there's in, an app called in, meetup.com yeah, as well meetup. which is very popular well. so which is also another one so when you go into this platform so it actually brings up all the events happening around your city irrespective of whichever place you are in and the good thing about this uh, events are most of them are free so plus they have food and drinks uh, yeah. usually <laughs> which which is an add on <laughs> that's correct because food food is actually a part of the networking events in australia yeah. because they believe that you have to give something right. to people to tell yes. you know so it, so it's a good thing and many of this actually provides op, you know an op, a window of opportunities for you so thank you vinesh for joining us today and uh, everyone have a good time